I think I found the perfect DIY beginner's kit for the Eurorack modular synthesizer. The HSTA01 Baby 8 sequencer. A small 8-step CV sequencer with a lot of features and it's really, really easy to build. Perfect, right? Well, there's one quite annoying thing about the kit. In this simple plastic bag are all the parts that you need to build a working module. Faceplate, PCB, components, power cable and the rack screws. If you're a beginner and you're thinking, man, that's a lot of parts, it's really not. And most of them are just in multiples. It's not 20 different resistors, but 20 of the same value. That makes this kit a pretty safe bet because the chance to mix up parts is really slim. And you even get a printed build manual. That's definitely a first for me. Cool. A beginner's kit and a surface mount part? Uh, well, I like it. It's really not that small and it's just a single part and it's a good opportunity simply to try out surface mount soldering. Simply tin a single pad on the PCB, reheat it and move the part into it with some tweezers. Done. Then the parts are fixed in place and you can easily solder the other legs. You can finish the rest of the kit in one hour. Resistors, capacitors, diodes, some connectors, everything is really easy and the manual has pictures for all the steps and all the parts. The audio sockets need some modification. You clip all the legs and later you connect the ground pins with a piece of wire. That's unusual, yeah, but it's not that hard to do. But don't solder the parts that go through the front panel. Just place them on the PCB, place the front panel on top, turn it around and then solder it. This way you make sure that everything fits and it's straight and even. The faceplate, by the way, is not made from metal, but from the same material as the PCB. That's not that super solid, but it works and it keeps the price down and it looks really nice. Yeah, the cost of the PCB depend on the size of the PCB, but I think here they made a mistake. While the electrically relevant pins of the pots get soldered, the pins which hold the pots mechanically stable are simply hanging in the air and turning the pots put a strain on the solder joints and I'm really sure that this sooner or later will break. Um, this would work if you could fix the pots to the faceplate, but you can't of course. So I fixed this with a small strip of prototyping board, drilled some two and a half millimeter holes in it and simply soldered all the additional legs to it. And now the pots support each other and prevent any twisting. I think that's the only flaw of the kit. These are the eight steps of the sequencer. Every step has a CV value pot and every step has a trigger output where you could hook up, for example, a drum module. You can set a CV value per step 
and all these values get mixed down to this uh, CV output jack. Um, to advance the sequencer, it has a button, of course, but usually you would use a clock signal. What's also quite interesting is this uh, scale pot. The scale pot takes the values of all the CV uh, pots and moves them globally up or down. So you can pitch every value up or down. the clock signal through to another module. Since we set free CV values and not nodes, you usually would use this type of sequencer with a quantizer module to move all the CVs to the next closest node. Also interesting is the reset button. This will make the sequencer jump back to the first step, as you can see here. Since there's also a reset input, you can use the sequencer's own trigger outputs to reset itself. And this is how you shorten the sequence. If you find a way to stabilize these air pots with protoboard or even some hot glue, then you can get the best beginner's kit for a modular synthesizer. It's cheap, it's easy to build, it's fun, and you have a great module in the end. And even the manual is good because it explains how the electronic circuit works, easy and for beginners. Um, most of my videos are in German, but if you don't want to miss, miss the occasional English one, please subscribe, leave me a thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching, bye bye, my name is Götz. Cheers from Cologne.